after doing the body work on this 2020 Chevy Trax, we're ready for paint. So today, we're going to take a close look at each step of the painting process, including a simple way to deal with mix ratios and mixing paint. The first step is to clean the vehicle and wipe it down with some wax and grease remover. The next step is to use some good quality automotive refinishing masking tape and mask off the trim. And if your eyes are getting weak as you age, you can use one of these guys. It's a, they're jeweler's glasses and I'll put the link to these under the description. And here's a close-up shot of the vehicle's handle. And you can tape right along here. This is chrome in the middle. Tape right along here and then just cut it on the ends with a razor blade to get a nice clean line. Another handy tip is to mask it so you can always still open the doors. You never know when you might need to get inside the vehicle. And if you pull the tape pretty tight you can go around curves like this tail light. After you outline everything with masking tape, you can then paper off any large areas. To prepare for paint, we'll be scuffing the front bumper cover with a scuff pad like that. The panels will be DA sanding with 240 on a palm sander. Any panels that we're going to blend onto will be scuffed. And then anything where we can't get close to, like we don't want to get close to this tape with the DA, so we're going to stay away from it, then we'll scuff that with a scuff pad. Any gaps? We'll get in real tight there with the scuff pad also.
If it's hot and humid out and you don't want to deal with the water in the lines, especially if you have a lot of sanding to do, you can use an electric sander like this Merca, and I'll put the product link in the description. After prepping for paint, we blew the dust off and we'll wipe it down with some wax and grease remover. On the side of the can, it has a mix ratio of 8 to 1 half to 4. That means 8 parts paint to 1 half part hardener to 4 parts reducer. So let's take a close look at how to do that. An easy way to get that mix ratio is to first mark about how much paint you want to mix up. And today I want to mix up just about a full quart. Now we're just going to divide this section. We're going to mix up about that much paint. We need 8 to 4 to 1 half. That's 8 plus 4, that's 12, about 13 equal parts. So let's divide this in half, that's about right there, then that in half, and that in half. That's four parts. That in half, that in half, that, and that. That's eight parts. Then dot, 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 dot. That's 16 parts. So two, four, six, eight. This is going to be your paint. Then four parts reducer, so two, four, this will be your reducer, this is reducer, and then a half part to right here of the activator. And you almost have a full quart, which is fine with me. This is how much paint you'll have mixed up perfectly. We have the paint to here, the reducer up to here, and the hardener up to here. Again, we marked how much paint we want. We divide this up into a bunch of parts. That's half, that's four parts, that's eight parts, and 16 parts, like that. Then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You'll fill up the paint cup like that up to that line with paint so up to this line you'll fill with paint that's eight parts paint then one two three four four parts reducer so up to this line you'll then fill with reducer so paint reducer then last a half part of the hardener so you'll put the stick in the cup. I don't know if you can see that. But the paint will be filled. You put the stick right in the cup all the way. Paint goes to that first line. Reducer to the second line. Hardener to the third line. Before spraying the base coat today, we're going to hit these areas with some darker sealer to make it easier to cover with the color. And this is the pattern that we'll be using today. After hitting the light spots with some base coat to darken them up, we're ready for our first overall coat of base. And it's going to be a light coat called a tack coat just to get the paint to stick. The second and third coats will be medium to wet.
And this will be the third coat. And now for two coats of clear. The Harbor Freight Spectrum HVLP gun worked great for sealer, base coat, and the clear coat. So if you're in the market for a quality gun at a reasonable price, check it out. After two wet coats of clear and letting it dry overnight, we're ready to unmask it. I hope you enjoyed this video on fixing side damage, and if you did, and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.